It's a matter of opinion. Welcome to another episode of Matter of Opinion. I'm your boy, Walsh P. And on today's episode, let me put this man's picture up. Police are searching for a man accused of rape in a SEPTA station. Now, this happened July 18th, about 4.30 in the morning, at the Broad and Snyder SEPTA station platform. Now, here's the backstory to what happened. That day at 4.30 in the morning, the 40-year-old victim and her 44-year-old boyfriend were on the platform and she was trying on some clothes that the 44-year-old boyfriend had bought her. Now, one would wonder why would she be trying on her clothes at 4.30 in the morning, but if she's with her man and she feels protected, she's entitled to do whatever she want to do. Have you guys not ever been in a situation where you are out in public and you needed to change your clothes or something, so you quickly changed it? Her changing her clothes at 4 something in the morning and her boyfriend is there, I don't see nothing that warrants a red flag. That's just my opinion, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So as this is going on, the suspect comes to the platform. Now, after a brief small talk with the boyfriend, the man pulls out a gun and begins to assault this woman. Now, as he's assaulting this woman, literally raping her, he makes the boyfriend watch what he's doing to this woman. Now, a lot of people can say, why didn't he do something? Why didn't he try to do something? In the heat of a moment like that, it's kind of hard for you to take action because a lot of things could be going through your head. Number one, imagine the trauma that this woman is going through. Number two, you attempt to try and save her. He winds up shooting you. That's double the traumatic shock that this woman is going through. So now she's being violated and she just witnessed her loved one dying in front of her. And you can't tell somebody how to respond when death is staring him in the face. So after this man does what he does, he hops on the bike and then ride away. Now, when the man took off on his bike, the two called the police. They were escorted to the hospital. A rape kit were done. They collected DNA from the scene, and police is currently searching for this man. Philadelphia police say this man showed up at 4.30 this morning at the SEPTA station at Broad and Snyder, held a gun to a man and his girlfriend when she was trying on clothes and demanded her boyfriend watch while he raped her. I wouldn't expect anybody to intervene when a, when a gun is pointed at you. I mean, everybody's safety is paramount in this situation. Uh, it is a traumatic event that occurred down in that platform, and uh, it, it's concerning to us, and, and we want the public's help. Police say the man in his early 20s took off on a bike. He was wearing a gray NASA hooded sweatshirt, black pants, white sneakers, and a medical mask. To that victim, I know that was a traumatizing experience. I wish that on nobody, and I'm sorry that you had to go through that. Hopefully they capture this suspect so that you can start the road to recovery and start to find some closure, and I hope he gets what's coming to him. I would recommend definitely getting therapy so that it can also start the healing process because somebody experiencing something like that, especially in front of their loved one, like... I don't know how to put it into words. And to that man also, the fact of feeling helpless, the person that you're with, you can actually do nothing while they're they're going through such an egregious experience. I hope you too find some closure. I hope both of y'all work through this experience together on the road to recovery to find that closure. Now, this individual, like you have to be a sick individual to do such an act that you did. To actually roll up on somebody with their man right there, rape this woman, and want this person or that man to watch what you're doing. Like, you have to be a very sick individual. And I mean a sick individual, because I I in a million years would not, not have thought a person doing something like that. See, normally when you have these people that are predators and they looking to do something to a woman, if they see somebody there, they're like, no. I'll try another day or whatever the case may be. But this individual had the mitigated gall to actually do this while she was with somebody, her man. So that speaks volumes about this guy. This is somebody that definitely does not need to be on the street. There's somebody that needs to be apprehended quickly. And if you ladies and gentlemen know this individual, please do the right thing of contacting the police so that they can actually apprehend this suspect. Because this is not a person that we need on the street. This is a person that needs to be in jail for the rest of his life. And if you're not taking the actions to actually help apprehend this suspect and you know him, you're just as bad. You're just as guilty as this individual. It's sad when you live in a time where you can't even go out and enjoy yourself, especially up here in the Northeast. A lot of times when people go out, they do take train because it's quicker, less traffic, So taking a train 
and being out three, four in the morning is a common practice, you know, in the New York area, New Jersey area, that's common practice. So to my ladies and gentlemen out there, please be careful when you're out there having a good time because you never know what sick individuals you can run into. And clearly, even if you're with a group of people, it doesn't matter to these sick individuals. So just please be careful when you're out there. And I hope they definitely capture this sick individual and justice is served so that this couple can definitely find some closure. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would love to hear your take on the matter. If this is your first time here, definitely hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, hit that like button, share it amongst your friends. And if you want to follow us on all our other social media platforms, the links are in the description. I'm your boy, Walls P. This is Matter of Opinion, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of